Hello there, my crafty crew. It's me, Aunt Vicky, Aunt Vicky's Craft Corner. It's still cold here in East Tennessee. It didn't get above freezing all day. We still have six inches of snow on the ground, and I'm having cabin fever. Get out, hit the thrift stores. It's been over a week, and I'm having major, major withdrawals. I've been stuck in the house. I left once to go to the store. That was it. I've been, I barely even went outside other than to check our mail. Today's video is going to be how to take over two different kinds of uh, candlesticks. One I had done in, in the past, the others I had bought. I get tired of the same design, so sometimes I like to switch it up, and this is what I did on these two candlesticks. They were very easy, they were very fun, very economical. I hope you try these. They're very, very, very simple. So, let's get started. For this project, I'm going to take this candlestick, some paint that I had mixed up, and some gold rubbing buff, and try to change the whole look of this. Give it a coat of paint. After I put this first coat on, I'm going to see where I'm going to go with this. I'm just going to go with the flow. I know this wasn't a value because it came from big lots. See? I got this at Goodwill for like 99 cents. Now let's give it a dry. Now that that's dry, let's go ahead and put a second coat on it. See some spots that I missed that didn't get filled in. So this will make sure, give it some coverage. Okay, let's do the top. Okay. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I took some of this clear wax, some burnt umber paint and mixed it together. And I'm gonna make like a little bit of a, a wax to go over it. I'm gonna wipe it on sparingly just to give it a darker hue. Also give it a little bit of distress. Wipe some of this excess off. it looks something like this. So it starts to look something like this. Now I'm gonna let this dry. I'm very lightly gonna go over it with some more of the blue paint just to tone it down a little bit. In the areas that I think it's too thick. Not a lot, just a little. Okay, let's do the top. Now, I'm gonna dry it. Now that that's done, I'm going to take some rubbing buff on my finger, not a lot, and I'm going to start going over the detailed surfaces. doesn't take a lot of this to go a long way can you see
I love using rub and buff. You can really bring out details. Sometimes you have enough just on your finger to wipe it across. All right, let's get a little bit more. Go around the rim. Can get pretty messy. But look how it's bringing out all of these details. I think I need a new tube. Can you see the detail? Just wherever your finger tends to land as you're rubbing. That's what I've always learned to do. And this is what it looks like. Does it take rub and buff very long to dry? It will come off of your hands. I also painted this candlestick the same turquoise as that. <clears throat> and I'm going to take a paintbrush and my gold rub and buff and just go over it. Let me get some out. Just putting it where I think you, I need to. If it gets too thick, you can rub it with your fingers. Kind of rub it in.
It's amazing what a little bit of rubbing buff can do. You can use as little or as much as you want. here. All right. There you have it. Now, what you um didn't see was that I put a coat of Mod Podge on the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of Mod Podge on this one. just to seal it in. This is the hard coat. There you have them. It's not completely dry. For this project, I'm going to take this candlestick that I had painted and distressed in the past and this printable and I'm gonna apply this to the candlestick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some water on a small paintbrush and I'm going to just make a pattern. like that. Now I'm going to gently tear it being very careful. Tissue paper is fragile. a little bit more off. And 
until it looks like this. Now what I'm gonna do, I'll take my Mod Podge, I'll find where I want to place it. Okay. Add a little bit of Mod Podge, just a little. very thinly. Now I'm going to take my printable. don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a little bird. I love the, the blue china print. I'm now going to place it where I want it. Right there. And gently gently work it out. Trying to smooth out any wrinkles. Kind of impossible not to get some wrinkles especially on this kind of concave or whatever kind of surface you would call this kind of an oval See? I can short all of the edges. Now, I'm going to dry it. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a layer on top. It's a very fine layer. Doesn't take a whole lot to do this. Now. There you have it. Don't pay attention to this mess behind me. I have got to do some reorganizing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how to repurpose or make over candlesticks. They're, like I said, very, very, very easy. I hope you give them a try. Go out and hit those thrift stores. See what you can find. See if what catches your eye. Make it your own. That's the fun of it. You can never go wrong when you make it your own. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to comment your whatever you want to see me try, and to share this video. I love reaching new people. I have gotten some very, very encouraging words, and people have really built me up, and you don't know what that does for my heart. I had my cousin to reach out to me today. Hello, Amy. She really, really built me up, and I really needed that today. So, Amy, I love you, girl. This is for you. Come back again. Love you guys. Bye.